a certified executive coach, an award-winning leadership consultant, a global speaker and author, the CEO of Inspired Leaders International, and your Provincial Fathers Union President. Today we are talking about a busy man's quality time with his family. You are busy, I'm busy, we are busy. We are all over the place doing many different things. Moving from one meeting to another, from one place to another, from one assignment to another, from one engagement to another, in different places doing different things. But you know, when that happens, most times it is our families that take the blunt of it. Today, we want to critically get deep into this issue. Can you stay busy doing interesting, amazing, significant things as a man of impact and value, while at the same time you are able to have enough quality time to spend with your wife and spend with your children? Can you be able to do both, or one has to suffer at the expense of the other? To share important nuggets with us about this topic is somebody who has been here on this program before. Mr. Amos Mujeni Kakuru, a human resources practitioner, husband to Mildred. My brother Amos, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Good President. Good to have you again on this program. It is always a pleasure to be here with you. You know in a business when you go on uh, to some place and you do work and you're yes. invited again, it means the other time you did well when you are giving the service. Okay. I want to believe it applies to such programs too. <laughs> we thank God. <laughs> we surely thank God. Yes. Yes. So look into the camera mm. and briefly introduce yourself oh. to our viewers. Thank you very much, Mr. Mm. President. Okay. Uh, my name is Kakuru. Amos Mujeni, as he rightly introduced me. Mm -hmm. I am a human resource practitioner and I am married to one wife, Mrs. Mildred Mujeni, who I am sure is uh, currently tuned on and she's uh, watching in mm -hmm. to listen to what her husband is going to tell the nation. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, thank you very much. Yes, great. So we want to hit the road running, like they say, oh, yes. where the rubber hits the road, mm. the issue of quality time yes. that we are talking about today. Mm. We want to first of all have a basic mutual foundational understanding mm. of what we are talking about so that the viewers and us here are mm. on the same page as we start this conversation. Yes. So, truly, truly, what is quality time? Uh, thank you very much. I will plainly put it as this. Mm -hmm. Quality time mm. is uh, that time that you spend with uh, your child, mm. your spouse, or your loved one, mm. basically, without divided attention. You give mm -hmm. them your all. Mm -hmm. When you're spending this time with them, you give them your all. And majorly, it is to improve on the relationship that you have with this person. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is plainly how I can put quality time. Okay. Yes. So what I'm hearing is mm. getting, you know, spending good, wonderful time. Absolutely. With a loved one. Mm -hmm. Without divided attention. Yes. Looking at ensuring the relationship goes to the next level always. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what we are calling quality time that is quality time so that's the working definition mm. of quality time concerning this program today that it is that good time that you spend with a, a, a loved one mm. without divided attention mm -hmm. ensuring that that time improves your relationship i think that is a very good way to look at it as we begin this conversation oh yes oh yes now why mm. is it important for a man to spend that quality time with his family if he has already given paid school fees mm -hmm. given food the wife has something to put on they are having a nice shelter why does he have to now spend more time with them mm. <laughs> instead of going to chill with the big boys okay okay why is it important thank you thank you very much you can agree with me that uh, as the head of the family mm. you have a priestly, a priestly role mm -hmm. to perform in your home mm -hmm. you have to be there to give them spiritual guidance mm. as a father mm -hmm. As a husband, yes. you're not just going to think that providing material things is enough. Mm. You've paid school fees, you've paid house rent, if you haven't built your own house, yes. you've bought uh, your wife a car, and that is the end of it. No, you have to be there to offer priestly guidance to them. Mm -hmm. Let them kneel down, say a prayer with them. Mm. Let them, uh, let them, let them uh, uh, know that you're there with them. Let them know that 
they have uh, someone who is in charge of their spiritual being mm -hmm. yes and that is uh, a very key important role yes uh, that we are supposed to play as leaders of the family mm. then the second the second one i'd like to talk about is uh we live in a crazy world <laughs> we surely live in a crazy world yes we cannot afford to have our precious wives our dear wives mm. our precious children being taken care of by the world mm -hmm. the world is eagerly waiting to have someone who is not taken good care of yes. to quickly grab and shape them the way they want. Mm -hmm. You have heard of the cases that we have of uh, drug abuse. Yes. You've heard of the cases of uh, molesting children, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. Some of these are, ha are happening when children have paid visits to other friends' places mm -hmm. and they are lacking that fatherly figure in their lives. Mm -hmm. So we have to ensure that we do not let the world bring up our children. Yes. We have a role as the fathers, as the heads of the family, mm. to shape these children, to train our wives. Our wives are actually our firstborns. <laughs> they need to be trained and coached all the time. You cannot give up on training your wife. And definitely you can't do that if mm. you also don't know any better. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. You can't give what you don't have. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Mm -hmm. So you have to have this knowledge mm. so as to be able to pass it on to your family. Mm. Much later, when you have left this world, they will look at your children and remember the man that you were. Yes. Very many years later, they will look at your children that yes. you've left in the world and remember the man that you were. They won't look at the car you left or no. the trees you planted uh, no. or the house you they built will never look to at know that. the kind of man you were. But they will look at the kind of children that you left behind. The software that you left in your children. <laughs> the guidance that you gave your wife while you were still alive is mm -hmm. what will leave a, a, a mark in, mm. in, 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 the, in your life. The legacy that you leave behind. When you're long gone, mm. yes. Wow. And the other point I would like to talk about is that... Uh, Lucifer launched an attack, an official attack on the institution of family. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by this? Who is Lucifer? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds a, a funky, sophisticated name. Our viewers, some of them may not know who you are talking okay. about. Lucifer is, uh, I don't know if it is the surname of the devil, <laughs> but I'm talking about Satan. Okay. Satan launched an attack on the institution of family. Mm -hmm. And how has he done this? Mm -hmm. You are not there as the head of the family. Mm. So if Take an example, the institution lacks headship. Yes. Will you blame them for going astray? We have mm. children who are buried in drug abuse. Oh, yes. We have uh, children who are into alcoholism mm. today. But you can't mm. entirely blame them 100%. Mm -hmm. Their fathers were always looking for the lost coin. They were never there. The lost them, coin. Yes, to show them what to do, to show them how to conduct themselves. They did not have that fatherly touch. as they So were while they were looking for the lost coin, yes. they managed to have a lost son in the home. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the world is quickly to judge the child. Mm -hmm. He's a spoiled child. What is wrong with this generation? Yes. But the father was not there to show them what to do. So Lucifer attacked, he launched an attack on the institution of family. Mm -hmm. And he's, he tries at his level best to ensure that he destroys the family. Mm. How is he doing this? We are buried in work. We are claiming to be buried in work. Mm. And we are not performing the role of a father in mm -hmm. our families. You're supposed to be there to show these children how to Behave. But when you say we are buried in work yes. instead of being there to, to, to support and protect our families, mm. I thought one of those roles how we should protect and support our families mm. is to be able to provide for them all yes. these basic needs of education, mm -hmm. shelter, food, dressing. Yes, yes. And we do that mm. by going to work mm. and earn income that we use to look after the family. Go to work, earn the income, come and pay whatever bills you have to pay, but be around, be present. Have the listening ear as a father, mm -hmm. as the head of the home. Mm -hmm. Your wife wants to tell you something, but you're not there. You're outside there doing everything else apart from being here. Mm. Yes, men actually usually argue that uh, that is uh, a woman's role mm. to, to sit with the children, to be at home. What am I doing at home? Mm. If he's not at work, at least he'll create something. Mm. He'll go to the bar. And, Even and if what, work is over, like, there is he, no more job to be done, he will but he still creates something. something to stop him from going home he, early. He can actually choose to drive around town, doing <laughs> nothing, so that he's just not at home. <laughs> it is terrible. And as fathers, we have lost out on this. We have yes. surely, surely lost out on this. Yes. Uh, then, the other one I would like to talk about is mm. that uh, us being present as fathers mm. is an investment for the future. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by this? Mm. You must have uh, met very old and lonely men yes. out there. Those are the majority. When it comes to that age, yes. most of the men are lonely. Do you know why? 
Do you know why your children, for example, will come home? Mm. They have moved out of your house. They mm. have started their own families. Mm. They will move out. They will come to visit you once in a while, maybe mm. over the, 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 the festive season. Mm. They will take their mother in the kitchen and hand her two million shillings, for mm. example. Mm. And for you who seated in the, in the living room mm. with whom they don't have a relationship, they will come and give you 50k. 50,000 shillings. As, as, they, as they are moving away, as they are going back to their places. And the 50,000 shillings is to be used to look after the family because you are still the man who has if, to look after yes. the family. And if the mother does not fear God, she will come and ask for money to buy salt <laughs> from the 50k. Yet she got 2 million from the children. Yes. And why is it happening like that? It is because these children do not know you. They don't have a relationship with you. You are looking mm -hmm. for money. You mm -hmm. were never there. Mm -hmm. They have a misconception mm -hmm. that since their mothers are around, mm -hmm. their mothers love them more than the fathers. Mm -hmm. We have a role to play. So the children tend to interpret yes. presence mm. as love. Absolutely. And they interpret absence to be lack of love or absence neglect. Of neglect. Yes. Wow. Mm. So very many old men are lonely mm -hmm. and they actually die before the, 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 the age they're supposed to die just because they're lonely. They don't yes. have anyone to talk to. Mm -hmm. They don't have a relationship with their wives. Yes. They were never there. They were looking for money in courts. But now should they stop looking for their money to just be there and be with wives no, and children? No, it is for being intentional. Mm. You have to be intentional as you're doing this. No one is blaming. God told us to work and he said mm, he would yes. bless the works of our hands. Exactly. Yes, that's what the Bible tells us. Mm -hmm. So we have to work. But also as we work, we should have the responsibility of knowing that mm. we have to go back home and offer the leadership role, mm. offer the guidance that we are supposed to offer to our families. Mm -hmm. That is for both our wives and our children. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So we should go on and work, but mm -hmm. we should not overwork. <laughs> <laughs> yes, overworking. O whereby we get into the time that we mm -hmm. are supposed to be with our children and our wives. Oh, yes, they need this time. They mm -hmm. need this time. I mean, you married this woman. You yes. got her out of her father's comfortable house mm -hmm. and she came to stay with you. Hopefully it was comfortable. Indeed. That is another discussion <laughs> now. <laughs> but uh, she came to be with you. Yes. But you were never there. Yes. Now, the only way she can uh, console herself is with the children. So mm -hmm. she will create a bond with the children. Mm -hmm. And where are you living? Where, where is this leaving you? Yeah. You are a stranger in your own house. Oof. We need to be intentional. We a need to invest. stranger in your own house. Oh, yes. So Men are strangers in their own houses. So it's like you come home just for lodging. You you come home for accommodation and some, services and in the morning go back. Some men actually choose not to even return. He can choose to go to a hotel room. Just because yes. he's a stranger in his own house. Yes. He comes in the sitting room. He finds the children watching TV. One by one, they choose to march out. One goes mm -hmm. to the kitchen to meet the mother. Another enters. goes to their bedroom. When he moves to the bedroom to try and create a rapport, to, to converse with the yes. children. They don't have anything to tell him. They don't have a relationship with him. Yes. So as fathers, as heads of families, whereas we have to offer that guidance, we have to be the heads of the family. Mm -hmm. We cannot afford to behave like lions in our own home. <laughs> that is why we are strangers. That is mm -hmm. why much later we become strangers, mm -hmm. simply because we did, we did not invest in this right at the time when we were supposed to do. So if we want our children to mm -hmm. be in our lives yes. tomorrow, mm -hmm. we have to be in, in their, their lives, lives today. Today. Actually, we have to be in their lives yesterday. We are late. We are already late. Mm. This is tough. It is extremely tough. So what I'm hearing is that it is very critical for a man yes. to spend quality time with his family mm. because first of all, mm. it, that's when he will be able to offer the priestly yes. service to, yes. to the family. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when he will be able to shape his mm. children's future. Mm. That's when he will be able to protect his family against the attacks of the one you called Lucifer. Mm. That, uh, the devil, yes. and that's when he would be able to put an investment into the future of his family. Mm -hmm. Now, that takes me to ask, mm. oh, where are the men? Where, 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 where are they? What, what makes men busy? What are they busy doing exactly? What are some of the things that take away <laughs> men's time, mm. beginning with their job? Mm. Chasing the lost coin. Chasing the lost coin. Yes. That one has made us busy. Because you know, this is a question that people are asking, men, where are you? Where yeah. are men? So I would like you to really answer that question well. Where are the men? What is making them busy? I'll add a, a little bit of a background on that as well. Yes. Even when you go to church, you mm. will look for men and they're not there. Yes. They surely must be somewhere. In the fellowships, mm. they're not there. Mm. You organize a Christian men's fellowship, a father's union meeting, mm. men will not show up. Mm -hmm. They will be very busy. Mm. They will not be there. Out of a list of a hundred, you'll yes. find two, three, four men at most. You've just said they will be busy. 
Yes. So I would like to tell me, this is where doing what? That that is, that's what I'm asking. That that's is what, what I'm curious about. Now. That yes. is what you're coming to. Mm. Some are chilling with the big boys. They are out there. They've chosen to to go out there and uh, and hang around with mm -hmm. their friends. So they I are said, hanging out with friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. I said big boys, mm -hmm. but uh, they are also hanging out with the big girls. Some of yes. them. Mm. Yes. It's not only the boys. Yes. So men are busy out there with friends. With friends. Mm -hmm. They are not at home. Mm -hmm. They are even not at work. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. they want to create an impression that they are busy at work. Yes. They are also not at work. Mm -hmm. They are outside. They are out, out there hugging their friends. Mm. Yes. The other thing that is taking us, taking the men away from their homes is that, well, this is a good one. Mm. Some are in school. Some okay, are studying. They are studying, yes. Some are studying. Mm. They want to get uh, better, better papers probably to strategize mm. and uh, make themselves ready for maybe a promotional role or yes. another bigger role. Oh, so increase always, their knowledge. Oh, yes. Also, to, to, to widen their knowledge. Mm. Uh, so men are busy studying yeah, in some are busy in schools yes but also some other men mm. hate the company that they have at their homes they hate the, the company, company at, home. at home so they are a way to avoid home oh yes i know of a gentleman who had uh, babies he had toddlers one one was about uh, two years the other was about four and yes. another six they about Mm. So whenever I would be uh, in his home, the babies would be making noise, yes. shouting, he can't listen to a TV program, he can't watch a <laughs> game, they are switching to their Disney the, world and the watching cartoons. their cartoons. And uh, he felt this wasn't his home. Mm. One, one evening, his wife served him a, a glass of juice. Mm -hmm. And as she had placed it on the table, yes. one of the babies threw a ball. Oh. which hit the glass oh. and poured the juice. Yes. The glass broke, the juice also poured, poured yes. and uh, he really felt very bad about this. But remember, these are his children. Of course. Mm -hmm. So he opted to oftentimes go out and, uh, and hang out there. If he the wants bars, a glass of he, juice, he, he goes to Cafe Java's and, gets, and he gets his glass of juice, enjoys it without a ball hitting the glass. Mm -hmm. And once he's done, then he can go home to just sleep. At around midnight or oh, one, so oh, that no. he finds when the babies are asleep. But Could also, that be also running away from his responsibility? These are his children. He's supposed to be there and try to, to be part of this whole, let me call it quote-unquote, messy, but a positive mess, messy environment of the children all over the place. Mm. But now instead of facing it, you know, face to face, head on, together with his dear wife, he runs he away from it. He run and leave his wife alone to sort this entire mess. Yes, you can interpret it as, uh, as that. He's running away from his responsibility, but also he has availed himself, but mm. he, if he remains around, he might hurt someone. <laughs> so he chooses to <laughs> control his temper by yes. excusing himself. Yeah. I think out. indeed the point here is that the reality is that mm. some people, some men, mm. are not comfortable in their own homes, yes. so they go somewhere else to find comfort. And I want to share with you mm. a portion of scripture mm -hmm. uh, that is from Proverbs 21 nine mm. and i'll read it from here proverbs chapter 21 verses 9 says better to live mm. on a corner of the roof mm. <laughs> than share a house with a quarrelsome wife say that again better better to live, live in, a in a corner of, of a the house roof, of the roof of the roof house. yes than share a house with a quarrelsome, with a quarrelsome wife. wife what am i driving to some men are not there mm. because their wives are quarrelsome she will complain about everything she will not appreciate a single thing. Mm -hmm. You're coming back and saying, hey, today you decided to come back early. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> then when you come late, say, so now what late, time have you arrived? What is your problem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come early and say, what's wrong today? You are coming early. She calls, you make the number busy because you're attending a meeting. Yes. It is a serious meeting, you're presenting. You yes. can't pick up a, a, a phone <laughs> when you're in the middle of the meeting. But when you reach home, she reminds you of all the things that you've done, including the ones that were done two, three, five years ago. What kind of man oh. are you? These are the men that we have these days. Can't you they, see our neighbor, the man, how he treats his wife? The other one has a husband for me. I don't know what I have. So you look at a quarrel some woman. I made a loss by marrying you. Instead of uh, creating violence, <laughs> he goes away. To scatter. At least come back much later when probably she's asleep or when mm. she has cooled down a bit. And you can find the accommodation in your own home. Oh dear. Sleep and then you wake up very early in the morning and dash out. So our wives have also <laughs> not helped us. Some of our wives. Some of our wives. Mm. 
Mm. I'd also like to speak about uh, hobbies. Men mm -hmm. have hobbies. Yes. Men today, uh, in, in the era of artificial tufts, I think you've seen very many tufts around. I've used some of them, including uh, one week ago, I yes. was using one of those tufts okay. in, in Tula Kawempe you for football. Invited, you should have invited me. Don't mind. I, I will invite you again <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> yeah, so men have these hobbies. Yes. They love watching football, they mm. love playing their own football, mm. they love going to the gym, they mm. love working out. Yes. So they are away because they are doing some of these things. Okay. Baiting companies, <laughs> baiting shops are always filled with a male species. Indeed. It is men that fill these ones. Indeed. So they are always out there baiting kapapola. Mm. Yeah. So they are away doing <laughs> this. We have spas today. Yes. Massage parlors. Oh. Saunas. Steam mm. baths. Health and fitness centers. Uh -huh gym or rather aerobic sessions and what have you. Yes. These are the things that take the time of men. Mm -hmm. He leaves his office at 5, he, he, he negotiates through jam up to like 6.37. Yes. He branches off to uh, a <laughs> club where yes. he's going to work out or a gym. Mm. Then by the time he leaves the gym, it is 9.30, Yes. He's going to now have to negotiate through more traffic mm. and he'll get home at midnight. So he's away because he's trying to work on his body, which mm. is a good thing, mm -hmm. but also has its own... Uh, bad side mm. because you're not around you're not at home mm. how about you go with your wife for these sessions you think when mm -hmm. you take her to the gym they'll chase her out because she's your wife no they won't say that again you can have her <laughs> <laughs> you can have your wife go with you for these uh, games that you go for yes you, you go on the pitch and play, play the football mm -hmm. actually are you on mm -hmm. spending quality time with her i hear you, you. with her mm. You know, with her what, what if she doesn't like those kinds of things she and she can't you. come along but she likes you she loves you mm. So in this case, she's loving you, not the game. Mm. Mm. And you never know. Mm. Uh, as time goes on, she might pick interest. Mm -hmm. I used to love football a lot, and I still do. Yes. Watching football. Mm. Okay? And uh, by the time I married my wife, she didn't know anything about football. <laughs> but right now, she will tell you how Rashford has performed. Okay? <laughs> she will tell you how... This love this, and what it can do. Yes. She tells you, today this team has not performed well. I don't understand how these defenders are... Please note, she didn't know a single thing about football. Mildred, high five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is about, uh, whereas you have these hobbies mm. that can take you away from home, you can choose to have a way of being together okay. as you're enjoying this. Mm. Mm. So men are chasing the lost coin. Yes. Men are hanging out with friends. Mm -hmm. Men are in schools yes. studying. Yes. Men are running away from a home that they are not comfortable in. Mm -hmm. Men are busy enjoying their hobbies. Mm -hmm. They are in sports betting. Mm -hmm. They are at the health and fitness centers. And they are not at home. They are not with their families. Now, practically therefore, how can a man manage to spend quality time with his family when he is this busy? So let's get now to where the rubber hits the road, the how, the practicalities. If a man wants to be busy, because mm -hmm. you see most of the things you talked about, you kept on putting a disclaimer saying it is good, it is right. Mm -hmm. Working on the body is okay. Mm -hmm. Going to school is fine. Being with friends is, is acceptable. Chasing the so-called lost coin is acceptable. These are good things. Mm -hmm. So how can a man do these things but at the same time give quality time to his family? Thank you very much. That is a, Save us now. That is a very wonderful question. <laughs> One of the mm -hmm. things mm we can ensure one of the practical ways that we can ensure that we spend uh, quality time with our families yes. is by being intentional. Uh -huh. Let us know that it is our responsibility. Mm -hmm. It is our responsibility. Yes, we are chasing the lost coin. We mm. have to pay bills. Mm. Bills have increased everywhere. Go food is no longer <laughs> as at the same price it was five it's years not. ago. It's not. Yes. So you have to work harder so as to provide these things. Yes. School fees, you know, the prices have uh, mm -hmm. skyrocketed. Paid. You cannot believe what people are paying as a, in form of school fees. Yes. But you have to be intentional. Whereas you're looking for the money to make to avail these things to your families, mm. make sure that you're intentional. Intend mm. to spend time with your people. Mm. If you take an example, you you're done with the course that you're studying. Yes. Spend the time now that you're spending at the university. Mm. You 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 go home and be with your family. Mm. 
if you've been running from rushing from office at five mm. to run to the university, maybe mm. to catch up, you're doing evening classes, or you have uh, a side hustle, mm. a side hustle that you, a gig that you have yes. that is going to take you a month or two. When the gig is done, mm -hmm. get the money that you grabbed from that gig yes. and spend it with the family. Take so if out. I was going to uh, Uganda Management Institute every yes. evening or at Inspired Leaders International yes. every evening for the certificate in public speaking and mm. presentation mastery, mm. The way I was rushing at 5.30 to be part of the sessions mm. is the way I should still tell myself I am still studying, but this time I am studying at home, studying my wife, I am studying my children. So it's, it's five, the lecture is about to begin, the lecture of the Holy Spirit. So I need to rush home for studying my wife, for studying my children. Absolutely, absolutely. Even when the course is done, I still... You, you, you have a course now, another course that you're doing. Yes. And the good thing with this course is that it's not going to get done. Mm. You're going to do it for as long as you're breathing. <laughs> that, that day, the day you graduate is the day you leave this earth. Yes. Run home for that course of training. Your Intentionally. Wife. We have to be intentional. Send a message to your wife. Text messages are how much? Like 50 shillings. Mm -hmm. And you don't even need to spend 50. Put that on your phone. Send a WhatsApp message. Mm -hmm. How are you? How is your day? Have you reached office well? Mm -hmm. Tell her I've arrived safely. Uh, is everything well? If she had a headache in yes. the night, in the evening, she told you she wasn't feeling good in the morning, send a text. As you're in that meeting, mm. send a text and say, yes, I'm here in the meeting, but I'm thinking about you. You're being intentional. Mm. You're being intentional. Yes, you're being deliberate. Yes, you're being deliberate in doing this. Then, there are some messages that uh, our dear wives love receiving. Mm. Their notification is different. It is, it is special in a way. These are mobile money. I, I saw it coming. I yes. saw it coming. Yeah. That message that begins with, you have received. Uh -huh. That is a wonderful message. Once in a while, surprise her. Uh -huh. Send that message mm. that has a different notification. <laughs> she will surely, yes. you know, mm. be very happy about it. Mm. Let us get into the habit of doing this. Mm. Then we need to get in the habit of taking vacations. Okay. Taking family. vacations. With family. Mm. You can choose to have them with your wife, yes. just the two of you. But once in a while, you should also have your little ones join you for these mm. vacations. Mm. Take them around. We have a very beautiful country. Uganda is the part of Africa. It is. Even if they gifted by nature. Two years, you will not be able to exhaust everything beautiful mm. that we have in this country. That is so true. You don't need to have millions of shillings to take your 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 your, your, your people to Dubai mm. or elsewhere. Mm. Uh, anywhere else, you can even do it from within the country. Oh yes. Be deliberate. Take vacations. Take so what time. makes vacations important? The vacations. Because many people see that as uh, a European concept. Mm. <laughs> that the Europeans or the Americans are the ones that say, you know, I've been here working for six months, now we are taking a vacation for one month, a vacation for two weeks. So yes, it's, yes. it's quite foreign to many men around here. Yes. So what makes it important? We need to change our mindset. It is quite foreign to men here. They mm. think it is a time waster. They think you're wasting money. Mm. They are thinking about school fees for next term and <laughs> they don't want to begin spending on this. Mm. But when you go for a vacation, you tend to relax off the usual busy schedules, mm. off the work stress, the traffic jam, the noise with the border borders and the fumes <laughs> in the city. Yes. You go out there and reset mm. you and remember you're in the company of your dear wife if you have one mm. in the company of your children mm. you're giving them something different yes you've left home mm. your wonderful home mm. and you're going somewhere else it, it feels different because and it's a different some person. men that's the problem when you say you 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 you've left your wonderful home that's a problem with some men i remember telling one of them is yeah. he's my relative mm. they said you know to take out this lady for a cup of tea mm. Do you know what he told me? Mm. He said, but we have milk here at home. <laughs> Don't we have milk and uh, tea leaves? <laughs> <laughs> what type of that. tea are we taking out there that we don't have in here? He will even ask you why the cup of tea is 20,000, <laughs> yet a liter of milk is uh, 3,000. Yes. So it is, we need to change our mindset. Mm. So when we go away for extended yes. periods of time, like a vacation of two days, mm. three days, one week, two weeks, mm. depending on the current capacity, mm. it gives us an opportunity for more time to share together. That's what you're saying. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And when you get this chance, Please switch off your phones. You are now complicating the vacation. <laughs> we may not go for it why, now. Why, why am I saying this? When you go there and yes. you on your phone, mm. is when you'll get uh, taken up now by social media and yes. you won't give quality time. Remember when we were talking about quality time at the beginning, mm. we said the time that you give to your children, mm. your 
your spouse without divided attention live score you on twitter and yet this lady is conversing something she's telling you something the mm. child is explaining something to you mm. so you lose out on the quality mm. time you would rather be on that phone together yes, if you feel that phone you sit together you respond to those messages together mm. you, watch something together ah, that is okay then but if you're going to be this side and the conversation is their side you are saying attention will be divided mm. you will not achieve the purpose of this yes so the other one i'd like to talk about is uh let us get into the habit of having abrupt school visits for our school going children. Abrupt school visits. Yes. Surprise mm -hmm. your child. Mm -hmm. Especially now like these ones that are in the boarding section. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for VD to match just like every other parent. Be mm -hmm. different. <laughs> get one evening, one mm -hmm. afternoon. Pass by. Pass by. Check on them. Mm -hmm. Even if they still have money, check on them, remind them that you love them, mm -hmm. you're praying for them. Mm -hmm. You wish them the best, mm. you're available in case of anything, ask them if anything is bothering them, mm. it rubs differently. Wow. The child will look at a, an amazing father and it actually hits home. when he or she goes back to the dormitory, mm. the, the, the good things they'll talk about you will not fathom. You can't mm. My father has spared time. I mean, is this busy shit? He's here to see me. I know. Do you see how blessed I am? My father is a serious man. You know, <laughs> these things are really serious. Mm. Where my children go to? There is something we did recently at the beginning of the term. Mm. As men, fathers in that, in that school, mm. we decided that we are going to go to the school as early as possible that morning on day one of the school term mm. and be there to welcome the children back to the school. Wow. So we went there, not all of us, a few of us, a few of us, the men, we went there and we stationed ourselves mm. at the entrance of the school, mm. at the gate. And everybody who came, we welcomed them, we wished them a nice time. The, some of them who were brought by their mothers, we welcomed them, we, we hugged them, we gave them a high five, we talked with them, we knelt down and we were at their level talking. It, like you said, it hit differently. That is a very, very special thing. It that hit they differently. Forget. They will not forget. But also remember, as you said, it is a few men that participated. Oh, yes. And as, as the children are coming to school, most of them were accompanied by their mothers. Oh, yes. It is because we are busy in court. <laughs> <laughs> it is because we are busy. Yes. I would like to speak about another thing. How we can be able to ensure that we, we maximize quality time with our family. Mm. It is something as simple as taking a walk. Take a walk. Take a walk. How much do you pay for taking a walk on the street? <laughs> it is you, you, know, since, you pay since, time. Since the, the vacations are expensive, mm. take a walk. Hold your wife's hand. Or you might be shy, you don't want the neighbors to see you holding your wife's hand. Let her walk just beside you. Take a walk as you're conversing. Mm -hmm. It can be a 10, 20 minute walk. Even if it is one hour, it is okay. Yes. You're spending quality time with your family. I was just here looking for something that you talked about mm -hmm. when we said a few men. Mm -hmm. Let me now give you ex the exact statistic Please. of what happened that morning. <laughs> because I wrote an article out of it, mm -hmm. getting dropped was uh, my observation number one, that approximately about 15% of the children that morning were brought by their fathers, 15%. 15%. About 35% were brought by their mothers, mm -hmm. and about 50% by the school van. Mm -hmm. About 40% of the children that were brought by their mothers mm. greeted us reluctantly and ran back to their mother. They mm. seemed not to be used to or comfortable with men or dads. Mm. And then that morning, the children were truly very happy. They looked more secure as we embraced them. And they kept peeping through the classroom windows to have another glance at the dads at the gate. <laughs> so clearly... You, you, you could see that this was so special for them. In fact, one of the administrators later told me that a number of children who usually cry whenever they are dropped at school in the morning at the gate, they did not cry this time after they met men at the gate who hugged them and wished them a nice day. When they entered the school, they never cried. So... Are you seeing the gap? Oh, yes. <laughs> that is the gap. That Real stuff. Men. If we have not been doing this, we need to start immediately. <laughs> Okay. How we spend time together? Listen to the children. Mm. Now some of us who have toddlers, mm. sometimes the conversations that they are having are not exactly connected. <laughs> this puts something else. He comes up with a funny story. Mm. But as men, we have to listen. Oftentimes we shut them up. Yes. We shut them up. You're trying to maybe talk to their mother and they are asking question after the other. Daddy, who is that one in the picture? Mm. Daddy, what is that? 
Then the, who, who, whose folk is this? He's asking about the folk he's using to eat. So you find their questions are a bit nagging. But as a father, listen. Listen to these children. You give them the confidence, mm -hmm. you, the self-esteem that they will need to survive in this world. Mm. You will come from such... Such, such interactions where they know oh, you can freely... The self-confidence of the child yes. develops out of conversations with the parent. Oh yes, oh yes. Let them have an appreciation that they can actually listen to me. Mm. Because if they are shut up in school, yes. if everyone else has their playing out there, they are they're being told to shut up, mm. and you, their father, you're mm. also shutting them up. Mm. Don't, don't waste my time, you're making noise, I'm listening to news. <laughs> listen to them. One of them, the child said, Daddy, you see, you see. Mm -hmm. She was showing the dad something that she had drawn on the paper. Mm -hmm. Daddy, you see. And then the, the man was on the laptop and he said, Yeah, you talk, I'm listening. Imagine. But the dad, I mean the daughter did not say, You listen. Mm -hmm. He said, You see. She said, Daddy, see. Mm -hmm. And the dad says, it's Talk, so I am see. listening. But this was something to be shown to him. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is interesting, really. We, we, we are so busy. We are taken up and we don't give them the time. Mm. Actually, eye contact is even important yes. during such conversations. Mm. They get confidence. They know that they can look into their father's face mm. and communicate something. Mm. This will help them do the same when they go out there in the world. They are yes. children who are confident, who can speak out there. Mm. But they are also children who are to themselves and they can't say anything. Very timid. Simply because whenever they try to say a thing, they are told to keep quiet immediately. Mm. What are you even saying? You're making noise. Mm. So eye contact is important. <laughs> it builds confidence. It does. Touch. Touch them as they are talking to you. Mm -hmm. Let them come closer to you. Touch mm. their hand. Mm. Pat them on the mm. back and tell them that yes. You know, if, if any of what you've said is not right, mm. this is how we are going to, this is how we should go about this. Yes. Let them have that confidence. Mm. Mm. Wow. These are <laughs> wonderful nuggets. Being intentional, mm. taking vacations, mm. having abrupt school visits, yes. taking a walk, listening to them, mm. giving them eye contact, mm. physical touch, SMS to the wife, mm. mobile money, <laughs> to mention but a few. Please re re repeat that last one. <laughs> <laughs> send some, but now if you no wait, mm -hmm. if you send money back at home to the wife, yes, yes, it's a nice thing, it's a gift. But now, have you spent quality time with her? I know. You've only sent quality money. <laughs> <laughs> but this this money will help start a conversation. Uh, By the time you get back home, and yes. she has also her own needs. Of course. Yeah. So she will know that you care about her, not only physically and giving her food at home. Mm. She knows that. My husband cares about me. He sent me something to also probably buy something that I want for myself. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it is it is it is it is a wonderful thing. It is indeed. It is a wonderful thing. But then, when you look at all these things you've talked about, mm. how possible uh, are they? If a man, for example, works mm. far away from home, mm. you find a man works in southwestern part of the country, mm. the the woman is in the northern part of the country. Mm. How possible will these things be? for that man who works far away from home? Uh, thank you very much. And uh, it is quite tasking. Mm. It is quite uh, hard to spend quality time, especially now, like you said, the man is far away from mm. the family. Mm. You've actually mentioned far away within the country, but there are those men that are even outside of the course, country. Yes. And they need to buy a ticket so as to visit their family. <laughs> yes. So how do, we, how do we ensure that we maximize uh, this time, that we spend uh, quality time with our, with our families? Mm. We need to ensure that we spend our leave days with the family members that God has given us. Spend leave days with the yes. family. I will tell you there are men who, for example, work in the West mm. and their family is here. But even when they get leave, even when it is a, they are public holidays, now like the Easter holiday, which is the longest in mm. there. Mm. You have a Friday, a Monday, so it gives you a longer <laughs> week, a longer holiday. Mm. You find that some men opt to remain there. Yes. In, wherever they are, and they, they spend from. this time with the, with the families. Mm. So let us always try to ensure that we maximize the leave days that we are given. Mm -hmm. We know that we plan these leave days, and as soon as we get them, we quickly dash out and uh, be with our families. Okay. Yes. And what if I am not a kind of man who has leave days? I am not an employee anywhere. Mm. I am an entrepreneur who is very busy running mm. my own businesses. I have two hotels, one school, mm. uh, three flower companies. I export fish. Mm. 
leave I, I don't know leave days I nobody gives me leave days so that man and my all those things are far away from home where my family is mm -hmm. how Actually, about that man the entrepreneur is even in a better position mm. than an employee mm -hmm. because an employee will wait for leave as per the company policies where yes but you, you are your own boss <laughs> what you is stopping wife. you from going home? Go home. Go home. You have a wife at home. You have children at home. Create time and go and be with them. Yes. Yes. And also allow your male employees who are working with you mm. to go and be with their family members. Mm. So we have to maximize the, 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 the leave. Okay. Or create the time with our families if in case you are not entitled to leave. Mm. Businessman. You don't have the leave days. You have to give yourself leave. Yeah. Be with your family members. Create this time. Mm. Spend a week, go and be with them. Yeah. Spend two days, even if it is one day, but make sure that during that one day you spend quality time with them, you listen yeah. to them, you engage them. And when it comes to the entrepreneurs where I belong, mm. uh, if you are not intentional, mm. in trouble. you are in trouble. <laughs> I remember doing executive coaching for one of my clients abroad, mm. uh, but on the continent of Africa, mm. who, who was and still is an entrepreneur in three countries. The businesses that he has, mm. they are in three countries. And one time he said, Samuel, let me tell you the truth. I don't know what people do when they are not working. Mm. When, when people are not working, what are they doing? Because for him, he would work like 18 hours every day. 16 to 18 hours every day he had lived his life in such a way that every day he has to be working for about 16 to 18 hours wow. and he didn't know now if you stop working mm -hmm, what, are what, you do? what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> what? so what entrepreneurs my fellow entrepreneurs yes. we really have to ensure that whereas we are busy we are loving it just like the, the title of my most recent book busy and loving it so that you are able to still enjoy life why do you are surrounded by stressful situations but also very productive endeavors in your businesses? Yes. Now, there are some men mm -hmm. who love, who spend quality time mm -hmm. with their wives mm -hmm. but not their children. Mm -hmm. There are other men mm -hmm. who spend quality time with their children mm -hmm. and not their wives. What's your comment about those ones? That is uh, now <laughs> a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you find a man a spends tricky. quality time with his wife awesomely oh, but the children are neglected oh he's always with the children playing balls and running but the wife is living like a widow even when he is still alive mm. so what's your comment about those ones as men mm. we are supposed to strike a balance it is entirely our responsibility mm. to give quality time mm. to our wives mm. And we are also supposed to give quality time mm. to our children. Mm. So we need to strike a balance. Mm. It is our responsibility in both ends. Mm. Have time, create time with your wife. Play games, run around the house. Tickle <laughs> her, mm. do any game. Uh, and move around and be with, <laughs> be with your wife. An old man in Kumi asked me a question when I said play with your wife. <laughs> said are we children? <laughs> <laughs> we need to have our, 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 mindset, our mindset change. We need to change our mindset the way yeah. we, we look at these things. Mm. Then for the children, if you're spending quite time with your, with your wife alone mm. and not the children, remember that they also need the fatherly touch. Mm -hmm. They need the guidance. Mm. They need the review. They need to be disciplined. And mm. that is your role as a father mm -hmm. to, to bring them back on course. So we need to strike a balance. We need to be reminded that uh, it is our responsibility as well as it is for us to be with our, with our wives, mm. we also need to create this time for our children. Mm. Who is creating time for us? Um, we are busy creating time for everyone. <laughs> they say create, have time with your employees, your eh, uh, head of department, Mr. Sir. Yes. Time with your employees, listen to them. Hey, your wife, create time, be with your wife. Children, create time for your children. Hey, how, who is creating time for us? And, <laughs> And uh, counseling us also, and comforting us, and uh, we have, uh, oh. we have to do something. <laughs> hey. Even in our HR practitioner, yes. uh, in our HR practice, you yes. find that uh, everyone comes to you. You're the listening ear. <laughs> <laughs> everyone bombards you with their issues, but hey. for you, who who sorts you out? Like who listens to you? <laughs> so as fathers, hey. you ask hey. that uh, who will listen to us? When we who creates time for us? We are creating yes. time for everyone else. When we create time for them, yeah. they will also create time for us because we would have availed ourselves. Hopefully. Oh, yes. Yeah, but also we should learn to create time for ourselves. Yes. Mm. yes. Yeah, that, that me time, that mm -hmm. personal time, mm -hmm. that quality time. Rejuvenate. 
yes. you know, refresh oh, yes. so that you are able to have what to give. I think being a man is, is, is a full time job. It is. You have to get time for yourself, you have to get time for work, you have to get time for your <laughs> wife. But by the grace of God, yeah. you're able to survive and you're able to do this. Indeed. So it is important that we also have mm. our own time, yeah. time for ourselves. Yeah, mm. indeed. Mm. Now, there are those people who we are talking of spending quality time. Yes. They are. Certain men who use that as an excuse, they use quality time as an excuse mm. for not spending quantity time. Mm. They say what matters most is the quality of the little time I have spent with my wife. It's what matters is the quality of the little time I've spent with my children. Mm. So they keep giving quality time as an excuse for not spending quantity time. My curiosity is taking me to ask you, does quantity time also matter or it's all about quality even if it is too tiny to be meaningful and my response is quantity time yes matters just as much as quality time mm -hmm. quantity time is that time that you're just spending with the family mm -hmm. you're not exactly doing anything mm -hmm. like you're on an assignment mm -hmm. or you're on a vacation or but just being there together yes. in the same space mm -hmm. in the same place Mm -hmm. it, is, it is very important. It is equally important. I mean, this is your full-time responsibility. You're not a, a part-time father. You're not a part-time husband. Mm -hmm. Whereas you're not spending quality time with them, it is also okay for you to spend quantity time with your family. Mm -hmm. Just be there, sit in the same room, watch a movie together. Mm -hmm. If you're on TikTok and you watch a nice video, you call your, your children, you call your wife, and you watch the video together mm -hmm. and, and laugh about it. And maybe comment about it and pick a lesson from it. Mm. Sit in the same room. Just move around together. Dance yes. together with your children. Dance with your wife. The man, the man in Kumi, I hope, is listening. It is important. <laughs> we play games, are we children? It is important to dance. But play a song. Yes. Dance. Dance together with your children. Like, play around. If, they, if, if you have uh, the, the babies, mm. even if they are much older, mm. play a sport with them. Mm -hmm. You can kick the ball around. Your children may be in the 20s and 30s. You are now 65. It is okay. Get the ball and kick it. When you kick it at 30, it doesn't refuse to move. <laughs> Be together. Spend yes. that quantity time with, with them. Mm. Play with them. Go for a morning job with them. Mm. Go on the road and be. You're spending time with your people. Mm. It might not be quality time, that mm. there's something exactly that you're paying attention to anything, but you're spending quantity time with them because you are a full time father, you mm. are a full time husband. Mm. I hear you. So, mm. You've talked about coming from the world of human resources. Yes. You are a human resources practitioner. Yes, yes. From that angle, mm. and in relationship to the topic of the day, mm. what do you think organizations need to do in order to be more supportive to the men in their, in their employment who are committed to spending quality time back at home with their families? What can organizations do to be more supportive to that tribe of men that are committed to spending quality time with family? Thank you very much. That is a, a wonderful <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a wonderful point of discussion. Mm. I'll begin with uh, talking about the company policies that we have mm. here. Yes. You will discover that uh, the Employment Act gives only four working days to men as paternity leave. Paternity leave is four working four days. Four working days. <laughs> as the women get uh, months. 30, whatever, leave, more. Yeah, and more. Mm. And in most cases, women are you know, very sharp. They mm -hmm. leave their annual leave. They don't take it, so yes. they know they are going to have maternity leave. Mm. They also add their annual leave so that they have a long, a long <laughs> time at home. That is okay. Mm. But I think companies can increase the days of uh, paternity leave to begin with. Yes. It is four days as per the Employment Act, mm. but you can give your employees more, more than four days. Yeah. Give them five days, give them seven days, give them two weeks. It yes. is okay. Yes. Because when their wives have uh, given birth, they have a responsibility also as men. I hope when they get their paternity leave, they are actually at home helping the wife. Yes. Because paternity leave may turn up to be a free time to go and, and yeah. booze more. And, and they, uh, ah, uh, ah, no. <laughs> yeah, so let, let us, as employees, mm. ensure that, as employers, employers yes. let us ensure that we give them this time. Okay. How they spend the time is a discussion for another day. Mm. But also, we also need to sensitize them as men, mm. as men in our organizations. Okay. We should have... Uh, uh, professionals mm. speaking to the men in mm. our organizations. Okay, we should bring yes. people to speak to the men in our organizations. To train them on how to spend. It shouldn't only be bringing people to speak to women on Women's Day. Yes. 
and 19th of November, which is in International Men's Day, it often passes and organizations do nothing. Absolutely. Can we also bring some people to speak to our men the way Abusa Bank did when they invited me to speak to 300 of their men? Well done, Abusa Bank. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for Housing Finance Bank, Stanbic Bank, uh, KCB, I'm waiting for your invitation. Mm. We have to empower your male staff also. It is very important. Mm -hmm. Let them be sensitized on how to create time. Yes. And remove that, that mindset, that wrong uh, interpretation that uh, spending time with your family is, is wasting time. All right. Time. The other one uh, that uh, I would like to speak about mm. is uh, as organizations, we can always organize uh, family days. Mm -hmm. Family mm -hmm. days where yes. the children come to visit their parents, yes. the wives or the husbands come to visit their spouses mm. at the workplaces, mm. just to have a feel of what goes on <laughs> at the workplace. It, mm. it is priceless. It really is. At Inspired Leaders International, mm. at the beginning of this year, yes. January, we had a residential staff and family members retreat for four days. We went away with all the staff and all their, and their wives and husbands and children, <laughs> and four it days. was amazing. Four days. Yes. I testify to what you've just talked about. Wait for the results in the year 2024. I will not get into details. We need to be closing in the next about two minutes. Yeah. One thing that is on my mind as we share all this is the instance where you find you have this man mm. who is committed to spending quality time mm. with his wife, mm. but his wife is now the one who is not available to spend time with the husband. What is your message to that woman as we wrap up? The man is available. The man is coming home on time. Mm. He wants to spend time with the he's family. There. But the, the, <laughs> the wife yeah. is the one who is not available. Mm. <laughs> She's a missed call. Well, we understand that uh, they also have their own careers. Our mm. wives have Definitely. Their careers. But they should know that as well as it is our responsibility to avail time for family, mm. they should also be available mm. as women. Mm -hmm. Let them chase their careers. Let them have the side hustles. It mm. is okay because they are looking for money mm. that should mm. also support us as we are running the families. Mm. But let them be able to create time as women mm. as well. Mm. They need to up their game also. Mm. Because we have been performing very badly as mm. men, mm. we have not availed ourselves as much as we, we should. Mm. They may not have been any better. Uh -huh. they, probably have not been there any better. <laughs> so they need to up their game. Yes. There's another wonderful thing that I would like to talk about, mm. which is planning mm -hmm. leave mm. together as a couple. Okay. If Samuel ever put an mm. tends to take annual leave yes. in the in, month in of, September. of September mm. 2024. Yes, the wife. The wife should ensure that around that same uh -huh. time they should also shed their leave yes that is now the hr language mm. they should share shed their leave yes so that when they are both away on leave mm -hmm. it is around the same time mm. and they can spend time together together so it is our role but also our wives have to support us on this all right okay. wonderful your closing remarks in just less than a minute okay uh thank you very much uh, for hosting me again mm. men out there please 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 Spending time with your families is not a wasted of time. We have a role to play. There's a lot that our children need to learn from us. We cannot afford to let the world bring up our children. For our wives, uh, they left their homes to come and stay with us. We cannot just let them live like they are, as someone put it, widows, yet we are still alive. We need to spend this time with them. We need to avail time amidst the busy schedules that we have to ensure that we are with our families. A wise man said that uh, long after you're gone, the world will remember what you left in your children, but not what you left for your children. Let us deliberately and intentionally ensure that we work on the software of our children while we still have a chance to do so. And uh, much later when we are gone, we will be remembered for having done the right thing. I uh, thank you very much and uh, I wish you God's blessings. Great, awesome. There are two things that do not deceive when it comes to displaying a man's priorities in life. Number one is where he spends his money. Where his money goes 
where a man's money goes will tell you his priorities. You don't need to ask him for his priorities, not even for his values. Just look at where his money went. You will know his priorities. You will understand his values. But number two and most importantly is his time. Where a man spends his time is a simple indicator, most trusted and reliable, dependable indicator of his priorities and his values in his life. Those two things. Can we prioritize our families as men and spend those two things in abundant measures and portion to our families? Can we spend more money on our families than we spend on all these other things outside our families? But most importantly, can we spend more time with our wives, with our children, more than we spend on most of these other things? Rightly said, many years down the road, you will not be judged by how many plots of land you bought in the wonderful upscale places. You will not be judged by how many degrees you got from international universities. As a man, by the end of your life and even after you've gone, you will not be judged by the size of the house you built or the, 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 how expensive the car you bought was or the wonderful suit you put on. But people will look at your offspring. They will look at your descendants. They will look at your children and judge you whether you were a man worth the name or not a man worth the name. What matters most is not what you leave for your children, but what you leave in them. And do not let your wife leave as if she is an, a widow when you are still alive. Today, we've talked about what you can go and do, even when you are so busy, to spend quality time with your family. Now that you know, it will be seen if you don't go and do. Live, love, and lead. Just one wife <laughs> that you need the leadership skills of a general, yes, to lead <laughs> another one woman.